What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about a new terminal that is called warp dev or just warp, I guess. And it comes with deb RPM. There's also an arch, an arch package, uh, an app image and more Mac OS as well. Um, warp for windows is coming soon, which is pretty cool. We're going to grab the arch package because I am on arch Linux and I only use app images when I'm extremely desperate. Now, this is a terminal that uses AI to help you uh, learn Linux, I guess, in a sense, and Windows and Mac OS. It, it helps you learn the commands. It's pretty cool. This is unfortunately a paid software. Uh, there is a free version to it, but it's only for 20 interactions a day. See, if we go to pricing, you'll see right here, download now, free up to five team members, uh, up to 20 requests per user per day, warp drive to save, blah, blah, blah. There's just, there's it, mm, $12 per month. Come on, 100 requests for $10 a month. 100. You're paying for 100 requests. Think about that. I like this product. I love it. You know, I, I just never expected it to be a paid thing. Yeah. And you need a login to be able to use it. The last time I checked, I want to sign up for it real quick, but I just don't know where to do it. User manual, GitHub, discord, pricing company. I don't know. Let's give this a shot. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to head into my downloads folder. That's where it downloaded and well, that's where I hoped it got it downloaded. Did it? Did it? Right. Warp terminal. Okay. So downloads. We're going to do sudo pacman dash capital U. And we're going to type warp uh, and install it. And just like that, we're done. So I'm going to minimize this. Okay. If you're wondering about the wallpaper, you can find this in my Discord. I just finished doing this. I remixed the KDE uh, 6 wallpaper because uh, it was lacking a little bit of... Um, it was just empty. And the sky was kind of like, meh. So I just fixed the sky. This is a blend of different skies together. And I added all this grass and the rocks and everything like that. So if you like it, now, it's in my Discord in the wallpaper channel. Okay, so let's go and open up um, Warp. Warp 9. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Uh, sign up. I don't know what this is. Authorization token? I don't understand. How do you get in here? Like, why do we need a token? What is this token? They don't explain. That's the problem. So when we go here, it's like... Yeah, popular, it's free. How do we get this done? So docs, user manual. Let's go find this out. Uh, warp Essentials, join the community, subscribe, follow on Twitter, installing and onboarding, okay? So Linux, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, Arch-based, yep. Yeah. So uh, first time you want to guide you through the setup of Warp repositories, signing in master keys. Oh, wow. So that allows you to download all the updates and everything. That's pretty cool that they have their own repository. So let's just um, let's do that real quick. You can copy whole commands and like have it work most of the time. So there's that. How does this work? Logging into warp required. Okay. And like most of you have to sign in to use the app required to generate warps collaborative features to make it easier for the warp team to provide customer support. Okay. If you want to log in Google or GitHub associated with email, read our privacy approach. I don't understand. Yeah. Okay. Provides customer support. Should you need to debug? I <laughs> like we're here. How do we do this? So nothing happens when I click sign in. Access local storage, sign up button. Okay. 
how to get the auth right. Okay, the sign up page. There we go. See? Why does the sign up page not exist in no, I probably missed it. I'm not going to complain. We're going to just open link next. Um, what do I click here? I'm, I'm technically none of these things. I don't know what to do. Sure. Um, the internet. We're on the internet. The nets of inter. Next. Personal. Go to warp. Warp 9, Mr. Riker. You heard the captain. As he sits in the chair, funny. So we have Cyberwave, which looks really cool. We're going to exit out of this now. And Dracula, of course. So overused, so cliche. Uh, we're going to go with Cyberwave. Now, what else do we need? Cyberwave, yay. Shell prompt. So warped prompt or shell prompt. I'm used to the shell prompt, honestly, but uh, let's go here. Confirm. Um, Save to drive. Got it. The setup is so convoluted and strange. All right. So let's hit clear. All right. Um, so I don't know really what to do with this. Can we do I have anything in here? Let's do NVIDIA all get check out dash B. Oh, look at that. Oh, they do have different uh, types of stuff here. So it automatically detects everything. And I spelt check out wrong, by the way. Oh, there's cherry pick. And then you add the uh, pull request, which is kind of cool. I don't like the fact that it's down here instead of up here. They kind of just, can I change this? Um, Cause I don't like that. That's freaking me out. Appearance, current theme. Oh, wait, can I? Oh, it doesn't blur. That's sad. Um, Start at the top. Ah, so much nicer looking. I really do like this a whole lot better. Okay, I can probably use this as a normal terminal too without asking any questions or trying to learn anything. There is a button called Ask Warp and um, how do I cherry pick a commit? Let's see what it says. Okay, so I need the hash. All right. I can uh I can understand that. Hmm. That's not bad. So it says 1 out of 100. I get 100? I get 100. It says I get 100. That's not bad. AI can be inaccurate. What should we ask it? How do I compile GNOME 46 beta. Echo GNOME for Azure custom steps here. So it doesn't tell me anything at all. I think this is just built off the same old data that uh, everything else is built off of. Let's ask Bing a question. Yes, I said Bing. We're going to ask Bing a question. See if it can help. Okay, I want more precise information. How do I compile GNOME 46 beta? Let's see what this thing says. Because that thing had way too fast of a response. You could follow these steps. Download the name beta resources. Oh. Oh. Wow. Look at that. That actually gave me an answer that's true. You can download the GNOME 46 beta sources. It's, it's pretty freaking big. Um, let me just show you how many things you have to compile because there's a lot of people that were asking how to compile GNOME 46. And the problem is I don't want to walk through that because it will change every year. And, uh, that would bug the hell out of me. God damn it. Where is GNOME unstable? 
right there. Okay, so this is no monstable. These are all of the things that you would need to compile to be on the full GNOME 46 beta. Okay. Another thing you could do is download them all. Ooh, that's beta one that changed. Uh, you can download these all and install them all at once. And you're on GNOME 46. Uh, the problem is, I don't know if this completely works or not. Everything seems to be here. So. Yeah, can you imagine grabbing all the sources for all of this and compiling all this? Can you imagine the different like dependencies you would need? It took me hours to get through just like half of this and I didn't even have the full beta installed because not everything was updated at the time. But you can add this as a repository, of course. It's very easy to do. In fact, it's so easy to do. I'm going to run through a video on it and maybe we'll see. Anyway, back to this. I don't know what to think of this. I mean, it's every 23 hours, which is nice. And I don't really care about the responses. I care about the fact that it can help me cherry pick things, right? That's what I care about the most. So if I went to clone the Linux kernel, I could cherry pick whatever commit I want because this would help me figure it out. And that is what excites me about this. It helps with things like emulators and such so say um cd ends up going back to your home directory say i wanted to get clone uh https yeah 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 github.com slash radio jinx i believe it's mu and then slash radio jinx no, it's not. Okay, I messed that one up. Maybe it's just... Again, no. Maybe it's just Rhea Jinx. Slash. Rhea Jinx. Already exists. Okay, so that way you would just do this and... Remove Rhea Jinx. Right again. Yeah, that's the proper repository. Okay. That's interesting. But what if there's sub modules that you had to pull down? So. See that hitting tab actually goes through a lot of stuff. I like that. Enter. No, that's not enter. So what is it then? It's not enter. Is it this? It is. Okay. So it's the arrow keys. Um, version git directory. I've never done this. Is it sub modules. I don't know. I've never actually used this command outside of Yuzu because Yuzu has a ton of crap that I just don't like. So, yeah. Anyway, we're going to remove that repository real quick. We're going to do remove dash RF reagings. And we're going to do a proper git clone of Rayajinx with recursive, just in case. Recursive. And it didn't grab anything else. And then we can just do this. Not bad. This is a cute little terminal. I really like it. Uh, that was a voice crack. That's not normal. Don't do voice cracks. No, not at all. Um, I don't know. I don't even know how to compile this anymore. I usually just work with it, you know? I think it's .NET something. I don't know. Anyway, I like this thing. I don't like the fact that you have to pay for the AI. It's kind of ridiculous at this point in time, considering there's so many open source versions of AI. Uh, but I do like how fancy the terminal looks and how modern it looks. What is this button? Warp drive? Well, look at that. That's pretty cool. You can create a team. I don't think I'm able to go in depth enough with this. Not me personally, but someone else would probably will. Uh, so if you create a team, you can share teams. You can share commands and stuff by the looks of it. That'd be pretty cool. Currently, uh, this is a preview, but still, I like it. It's, uh, it's clear. I'm going to do a Neo fetch on this. Do I even have Neo fetch installed? I don't. 
Uh, fast? Fetch? Ah! Huh? The hell does it say Cash EOS for? I ain't on that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.